It's a stunning example of just how unaffordable Vancouver has become. A university student is commuting to his classes from Calgary. As Abigail Turner reports, the flights make financial sense in the region's out-of-control rental market. Commuting to class looks different for Tim Chen, who doesn't board a bus, but a plane to get to university. The arts student flies twice a week from Calgary to Vancouver, saving big bucks on rent. I need to pay like 2500 for the rent. I don't feel that is like, you know, viable. He pays roughly $150 per round trip flight twice a week, about 1200 per month total. That's half the average rent for a one bedroom in the city. I thought, um, why don't we just, why don't I just stay at Calgary and then just fly here? Like, you know, one hour flight, that's like same to taking a bus. He had been renting in Vancouver for years, but gave up his unit to take a break from school. He returned to sticker shock. When I checked the house price, I was like, oh shoot, that was a big increase. Vancouver continues to lead the way as Canada's most expensive city for renters, while finding a place to rent is even more difficult, with just a 0.9% vacancy rate. We've even seen UBC students living in vans when unable to afford rent. This was the only financially viable option as I couldn't afford a, a bachelor suite of a kind by myself. Chen plans to fly to UBC for his two classes until the end of the academic year when he graduates. I got three hours of class in total. Um, after the class, I jump back to the bus and go back to the airport. A routine that he says gives him plenty of time to focus on his studies from the air. Abigail Turner, CTV News, Vancouver.